All right, everyone. How y'all doing? All right. I posted pictures of what I got over the weekend. And I said I was going to explain, tell the story, and do a, I guess, a show and tell. Well, all right. You've seen the pictures. First, let me start on the first part of the weekend. First part of the weekend, I thought I was going to fail. Wasn't going my way, but all I could pick up, I went to a place called Tanny Hill. But they have a trade day, a swap meet. You know, people bring antiques and stuff they make and stuff like that. And I got this. Right here. For four dollars. I know it's probably worth about five or six, but you know, I've never got a chance to play this because I was an NES I mean S N E S person. So I had my opportunity. Didn't pass it up. Alright. The next thing happened. So I'm sitting there down, you know, me and my wife. We picked up a few things like a old Pepsi crate, you know, just oddballs. Well, we went to go get something to eat. And I'm like, honey, can I stop at the flea market real quick and go get ink? There's a guy there, he sells ink, which I grabbed the wrong ink, you know. Stupid me, you know, you got 60, 61, and 62. Last time, I about grabbed 60. My printer's 61. <laughs> and the time before that, well, this time, I grabbed 62 instead of 61. So, yeah. Wasn't going that great. Didn't realize it, so I told her I was going to be quick. So, I'm sitting there running my way out. I'm doing my circle. Well, this guy stops me. He said, sir, 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 sir. I said, yeah. You like video games? I was going to do a kind of an accent, but he's, you know, broken English, like strong broken English, because he's, uh, he's a Mexican fella. He seemed pretty nice. Daughter, little, little baby daughter, I mean, was just adorable. I mean, but anyway, back to what I was doing. He pulls out a bag. Well, first he pulls out a box that had this in it, which is Atari 2600 Junior. Had this in it, which is a 5200 uh, trackball. Works. It actually looks nice. Uh, and it had a couple of games. No controllers. Oh, uh, yeah. I got some thunder going on. Well, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, how much you want for it? He's like, hold up, hold up. Just, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. I'm like, okay, why is he telling me hold up? He pulls out a gym bag with this in it. Atari 2600 Vader, which, you know, I think is awesome. I prefer it over the wood grain. Hate me or not. And whole bunch of games like I got have a whole box of games now and like the junior I'm looking to trade this anybody's interested in it let me know I'll throw in the duplicates games I might even throw some other games that you'll see in the pictures this I'm gonna trade this or I'll send it to I don't know Jay or somebody you know I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet I know there's, you know, like Gamester, you know, there's a whole bunch of people that's into that Atari stuff. I'm not big into the Atari, I just want an Atari, you know, just to have either on a shelf or play every once in a while with maybe Pac-Man in it. I have like, I have like three Pac-Man <laughs> games. Uh, I got multiple of a lot of stuff, but I still have a big box full of games. Well, he brings that out, has controllers, has controllers to make up for the other one not having controllers. Well, I'm telling him, okay, how much do you want for it? Because at this point, you know, I've done, we've done spent money. You know, I took out a good bit of money and spent it down to where I only had $27 to my name walking around cash. Well, 
he says $65. I'm like, man, I, I don't have $65. I was like, how much just for this one? You know, didn't have controller. Thinking I can get it cheap, has a few games with it. Well, it has a controller, but I don't think this will even work for it. I hadn't tried it. I don't care. It's, I don't know. But he said uh, $20. That's what he said. $20. So I'm thinking, okay, $20. Maybe I can get them a little bit lower because $20, I mean, I looked at it, you know, the value of Tari's up there. But what people actually pay for Atari is not really up there half the time. Well, at least a 5200. 5200 is just basically a throwaway object. You know, 2600, some people still buy them. And, you know, if you have a, you know, 70, you know, if you have it, the last one, it plays 2600 and it, you know, I mean, yeah, people buy that in heartbeat. But, back to the story. I'm like, well, you know, I try to talk him down, and he's like, tell you what, 45 for all. I'm thinking, I mean, I looked at him and said, man, I, I don't have 45. All I got on me, yeah, you know, I pull out my wallet, and I said, I got a $20 bill. He looked at me and said, it's yours. I'm like, okay. So I'm grabbing it. I'm, so I'm, Grabbed it, heading out the door. He said, wait, 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 hold on, hold up. More, 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 more. Went more. Yeah, that's not even a damn Hispanic accent. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> he says more. I'm like, more? He's like, you like Nintendo? And I had my NES shirt like this. You know, has the NES and has NES stuff. And has the NES card at the bottom. Uh, I say, yes, I like it, Nintendo. Who doesn't? He says, I got Nintendo for you. I said, Nintendo, I mean, and he brings out a bag and shows me this NES. Has a game in it. Of course, you know, look how easy it goes in and out. Which, after this video is done, I'm actually going to replace the 72 pin. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I think it needs it. Of course, Mario Duck Hunt had two Game Boys. I have them apart right now. I'm fixing the screens. It has uh, missing vertical lines, which, you know, you heat the bottom of, of the screen and it actually remelts the solder, which brings them back. So, it's fixable. I have three copies of Tetris. You know? What they came with, which nowadays somebody sells it, fit, you know, game worth fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, and they don't include it. You know, go figure. Uh, come with Quarth. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sounds dirty. Quarth came with that, so that's that's four games. You know, so it's your pretty the same. You know, just give me some trade. It came with a whole bunch of booklets. Original booklets for the Game Boy games. Came with two of the uh, power packs. Rechargeable power packs. Battery power packs. Three of these bags. One has some stains on it. The other two are just like, man. Uh, like I said. You know, comes with a whole bunch of them. Get my fast stretch. You know, we got Tetris booklet. Yeah, you know, got your uh, compact video system booklet. Got your rechargeable adapter booklet. Got three of them. Or in fact, one is still in package. Poster, everything. That's kind of odd. Any, well. I don't know if I showed this as Tetris, but got tennis. If anybody needs a tennis booklet, let me know. I'll trade you something or work something out with you. Uh, of course, Tetris booklets. 
baseball. Anybody need the baseball one? Let me know. Oh, drop that. Uh, I had posters. Like I said, I had two of the Charger things. Apparently, there was once three in there. Uh, Game Boy poster. It has this cool Hope Rob the Robot poster. Talking about now you're playing with power poster. Which I'm probably going to frame up, put up somewhere. I love those old ads. Now you're playing with power. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Anybody needs a Super Mario Land uh, book? Got it. Actually, I just saw this in a store the other day. Grab it and have it. I might not get rid of that one. Let's see. I've just been throwing stuff in a box. I've been trying to go through everything, price it out, see what I got. You know, I like to catalog and know what's the value of stuff so I know I at least got a good deal if something happens in the future. Um, well, before I even walked in there and met that guy, you know, I, I kind of felt good about it because I got a PlayStation 1 uh, analog stick uh, controller and I got F-Zero. There was this lady, as soon as I walked in the gate, she had video games, even consoles. I could have got me two PS1s, and she had them for like 10 bucks, if I remember right. Come with a controller, no other hookups. By the time you buy the hookups, of course, it, you pretty much make up for what they're worth, but still, you know, F Zero and the controller was five bucks each. So, I, I, you know, F-Zero, I know it's a big, you know, people love it. I've played it a few times. I actually kind of liked it. It's a big thing. So, yeah. Well, anyway, after the guy brought out the Nintendo stuff, I'm like, man, all I got is $7 left to my name. I showed him my wallet. I opened it up. I said, look, there's $7. He hands me the, back, the box of, uh, yeah, a box of Nintendo stuff and says, you take it. Yours. I got to get the hell out of here. This whole time, he's an adorable little girl. I mean, adorable. She was at my leg. I felt something grab my leg and hug. I looked down. I got a little face. You know, she just looked up at me and go, hi. And I'm like, ha. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm like, that made my day. Of course, I got home, threw it all out, took pictures of it. My wife, I walked back to the car. I have a look like I just saw a ghost, like, I just got robbed, uh, I mean, I'm just like, you know, the whole time, pale as can be, she sees me carrying these boxes, she's like, what the hell, how did you get that, what is that, and I told her what it was, and for once, I mean, she actually got kind of excited about the stuff, so yeah, I, that's the story of the, the haul of Atari stuff. Uh, I was going to tell y'all. Um, also, it came with a Game Boy uh, case. And all the games have their protectors. Uh, let's see. I got one of getting two paddle controllers, two joysticks. And one keypad thing, I, I can't remember what it was called, video something, keypad or something. Uh, that's it from that. I also had some other pickups from this week. I went to a store yesterday. I'm going to do a pissed off video in a minute. Because they completely pissed me off. But I got a Super Game Boy. I paid five bucks for it. I know they're, I think they're, there's a store around here that has them for more. So I figured I got a good deal. And also, at the moment, you know, I'm working on those Game Boys and my wife doesn't have nothing to play for Tetris with. She loves Tetris. So I got this for her. I figured she'd love it. And a couple of days before, I went to a game store after I got off work. 
I've been looking for Crash Bandicoot for my wife. My wife loves Crash Bandicoot for some reason. Everybody on the, the amount that they're selling it for on eBay, and you can't find it in stores because people are hoarding it. I didn't really think Crash was the shit that much whenever he was out, but apparently he's now the shit. Alright, I got her Plucky's Big Adventure. She likes, you know, cartoony games. I don't know if you can see it. For PlayStation 1. It's complete. Looks good. Uh, paid, uh, they had it for a high price, and I showed them, uh, the pricing charts price on it, and the price they had on it, and wound up going down a little bit on it. I think I paid, like, three bucks for it. This, I want it. I've been wanting this ever since it came out. Uh, they had it for, it's mobile suit, uh, well, they didn't even have mobile suit on it. It's just Gundam Battle Assault. I was about to say mobile suit Gundam Battle Assault. Anyway, they had it for uh, $12.99. First of all, I ain't paying $12.99. Then I looked at a price chart. I think it's like 6 bucks. It's worth. They sold it to me about $5. I didn't care if they would have sold it. If they would have said no to $12.99 and just sold it for $12.99 to me. Probably would have bought it. I love Gundam. I love anime stuff. Awesome game. Well, at least as far as I understand, awesome game. I hadn't even played it yet. Guess I need to get to that. Again, if anybody wants an Atari 2600, let me know. If, if you see anything in the pictures of this, let me know if you want it. We'll work some out. We'll make a deal. If I know you, if you can be trusted, I'll do it. Alright, uh, that's about it. Peace out.